<sighs> a long trip to Wembley ended us getting booked in to the Heartbreak Hotel for the girls. Playoff final loss and back to square one. Thinking my players have got hope in our fifth season. Well, that turned to mutiny as our star players revolt and want out. Leaving Mr. Hawk heartbroken and picking up the pieces. There is one question hovering over his head. Will he get Orkey United promoted to the Premier League? Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, to another episode of Orkey United Road to Glory. It's our fifth season with the girls, and, uh, well, the interest in it all, playoff final loss, last minute. Oh, God, it took a lot of Coronas just to get over that night, I'll tell you that. But... With all negatives, there's only positives over the horizon, right? Well, it's a new season. And with the squad, you knew that it had a lot of potential to do a lot of damage. Especially, like I said, a player of the season, top goal scorer, Rodrigo. So many other key players in that squad. But thinking this will be an absolute walk in the park of a season number five? Well, like I said in the intro as well, mutiny revolted over the goal locker room. Yep, you saw it right. Our star players won out, especially our top goal scorer, our player of the season, Rodrigo. He wants out of here. So what can I say? What a great start to season number five, huh? Literally, star players gone. But we do have £11 million in the budget, so hopefully I can get the replacements I desperately need, especially if the goal is simply promotion to the Premier League. So I had to look at the free agents. I found this highly rated midfielder, Good replacement for Andy, Liam Short, welcome. And a striker as well, Ivorian, Wilfred Kanaga. Yeah, he will do for now. Then afterwards, we start spending a bit of money. I went for a goalkeeper first, because as much as I love Park, I think I wanted to go for someone a bit more high rated, let's just say. And the Aussie fit the bills for £3 million. Joe Gacci, welcome to Torquay United. Then the revolving door happened. Andy went back to Scotland with Rangers. Recent relegated looting brought Kane off us and the big one. Yep, he's out the plane more doors as Rodrigo Munez left for Porto for 30 million pounds. Man, we would no longer be in debt if we had that amount of money, but whew. But I did decide to buy some other players with the little bit of money reassurance. As literally we can see Judas over here. The reason why? Well, Born in Plymouth, live in Plymouth, but going to be playing with Torquay United. Adam Randale for £3.9 million. And finally, our record signing, Bobby Clark for £6.5 million. Yeah, so that is going to be the squad. Now, many people will be up in arms saying, why did I not spend big money since I got £30 million in the bank thanks to Rodrigo sale? I don't want to make the squad too overpowered. I'm enjoying this run, and I think with the young talent we've got, I think we can push further and get higher. Now for the striker problem. Uh, I would start Wilfred, but I'm going to go with Hornby. He's been off the bench now and again, but every time he has come on, he's made an impact. So I'm going to reward him with a start and lineup for the goals. Will it help us out in our push for the promotion to the Premier League? Well, let's QPR find out with the match on it. The real question is, can we get over a dramatic playoff final loss? Well, two minutes. I'm going to quote Taylor Swift. We absolutely shake it off. Literally, Tony, calm as you like, tucks it past the goalkeeper. But the goalkeeper had another poor performance, a poor clearance. And Morgan had the green light to smash it home to get our second. Well, when they had a corner, there was a poor clearance. And the shot, though, I think Joe should have done a lot better in net. Well, then it was our turn to turn up the heat. Tony should have done a lot better from close range. Hornby wanted to make a good start, but... Nothing was going well. Until QPR wanted to be a helping hand. We see Oscar Bob in the box. Plays across to Tony. He missed. But the tap in from the QPR defenders. And in more misery away. And well let's just say that goal was a little bit of encouragement. As the goals were flying in. Highlights including Hornby getting his first. As well as that Tony leaving with the match ball. Then we're back to playing more for our first home game of the season against Cardiff. 
and all eyes were on the Scottish striker. And well, he absolutely delivered, fooled the Welsh defenders and grabbed the goal in front of the Torquay United faithful. Bobby Clark then spotted Hornby again, gets himself a brace. Cards then decide to turn on the heat, but the Aussie was like, nah mate, I'm used to this. Literally, someone get this guy a shoe and a Foster's, he deserves it. Bobby Clark then decided to grab himself another assist, played it across to the Norwegian winger, delivered more blows to Cardiff. And in the second half, it was the beginning of the end for the Welsh side, as Hornby grabbed all the headlines with his first home game with a hat-trick. But I had to include this one as well. Tony, absolute filth from that goal. God damn! It was a very long trip to Middlesbrough right here, but we got off like a rocket, especially when you got Oscar Bob over here. Just a shame that his effort was very wide, though. Hornby, though, decided to get into himself into a Jim Pure membership. Workout, look at the out muscle of Middlesbrough defenders, not just once, but twice to get himself a brace. And to be honest with you, I'm asking myself one question. Rodrigo who? Dangerous territory now as we've got Millwall next. Hornby wasn't in the natural positions in the wing. One too many pass. Oscar Bob couldn't get the shot off, but Tony sliding into those DMs. Off the crossbar and in for the first goal of the game. But something I realised that Rodrigo couldn't do, but Hornby could, was scoring from corners. As we got a corner, Hornby made absolute mincemeat as the tall Scottishman outheaded everyone. And it was one too many for the Millwall players, as one over the top through ball turned the Millwall Lions into pussycat as Hornby volleys at home. Blackburn next, and it was just good, natural to see early goals coming in, especially if Hornby taps at home. And guess what? The corner as the tall Highlander heads at home for getting himself a second goal. I'm just laughing over their misery as literally Oscar Bob decided to join in like a comedy rose into third goal. But as soon as we lost that clean sheet, Bobby Clark, I'm going to say it, hold my bloody beer. Holy crap, what a strike from the young Englishman. What an amazing way to get your first goal of the season, son. But away to Bristol City, literally they put everything up forward. But the Aussie was like, nah, I can deal with snakes, spiders, a few shots will be fine my way. But I tell you what, nothing is more dangerous than a pacey Norwegian and a deadly Scottish striker delivering pain to Bristol City getting the first goal. But Bristol City responded well, got me on a counter-attack. But look at that amazing tackle from Lucas. No, 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 no. That was good, don't get me wrong, but this was brilliant. Oscar Bob made the Bristol City defenders go through career choices. Lays it across to the Scottish striker, tags it home nicely, made it absolutely easy. And it's the same story, but it gets better every single time. Oscar Bob gets a hat-trick of assists, while Hornby gets the match ball with a hat-trick. Absolutely wiping Bristol City, ending the match highlights. Let's go to live game. So, looking through my opponents in the championship, I think Leeds would be probably being one of my tough teams. I would have put Luton. But that was during a weekday and early in the season. So I think Leeds, yeah, you know what? Fair enough. We'll go place them. It'll be a good game. If we win this, I think we're in pole position to get promoted to the Premier League, on my honest opinion. Brandale on the ball. Got Leeds plays all around. You know Daniel Farker likes to play a little gang and press. Through balls it into Hornby. Leeds defenders around him, but made it look so easy. Who needs a Brazilian when you got a Scotsman doing all the work? 1-0, early goal, who else but the Scottish striker towering above the rest, Hornby. Ball up in the air, no one round it. And Daniel James now, come on, Jackson's lost his man so easily, come on. Heavy touches from him, this will be a very dangerous area for him. Trying to cross it in, headed up in the air, Greenwood, still got it though. Played across, lovely run now, shot, save. Oh god, head it away, get away, get away, get away. Oh no, Hornby's lost it. Hornby's lost it, onto the American shot, rebounded straight in the feet of James. The blocked shot, perfectly gift wrapped it into the Welshman who tucks in Leeds United's equaliser. Jackson on the ball, trying to find some deadly play. Oh, he's lost it, but we've got a throw in at least. Uh, Jackson throws it across into Lewis Morgan, someone I can absolutely rely on up forwards. Great run from the Scots, into his other heavy touch, but Hornby still smashes it in. 
Okay, that little bit scared me, that heavy touch, but I shouldn't worry. When you got a striker like Hornby up towards, like fireworks off the 4th of July, you know it's only a matter of time. Corner for Leeds United right here. Could they respond well? Literally, my defence has been put up to the pressure, to be honest with you. Especially how Leeds try and clear it all the way. Here we go. It's into Oscar Bob, who's deadly on the ball when it comes to his pace. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Oscar Bob, like a rocket. Who needs Harlan, boys? Come on. Got it. He's got by himself, but the shot saved. Hornby couldn't get a tap in from that. Cleared away. Uh, why is it there, bro? You just saw them clear it. Oh, crying out loud. Uh, just want to get Leeds off the ball as much as possible because they're, they're showing promise, to be honest with you. And now, oh my god, Glover's lost his man, left in no man land right here, good tackle from Lucas, lost the ball, the pressure was too much, Greenwood, Daniel James gets his second, who's going to get their hat-trick, huh? put your money on the line, will it be Daniel James or Hornby? Well, to be honest with you, it's undecided at the moment, Lucas holds off the ball, lovely right here, come on, through balls it, literally those lead players, they will swarm you. But bees on honey. And Hornby. Oh, Hornby's done well holding off cross. And look at the run from Bobby Clark. Just before the half. And another contender has entered the battlefield. Bobby Clark gets the goal before the half time. A perfect way to end it. Brilliant work. Great run from the young Englishman. Second half now. And literally so far in the first half, we've had five goals backwards and forwards right here. Good tackle, but oh, Randell with a heavy touch right there. Plays it across. One, two pass. Greenwood, great save from the Aussie. Oh, God. I can see it hit, well, literally hit me right there being 3 free. And I don't think it's over yet. Literally, we've only got the worst to be over with. There's a short tackle. Nowhere. No, it's going to be another corner. All right. If, you know what? They're just going to keep playing it short. I freaking hate it now. So you can easily out dribble past my defence so easily. Go, see, I tackle it and I still lose it. Lost it again. Greenwood trying to do something. Plays it across into the American. Heavy touch. Shot goes in near post. Ah, oh, the Aussie should have done better. But either way, he darted through past Leon. And afterwards, the American, another player, has entered the battlefield. It's 3-3 free, free now. Oscar Bob. Now, uh, come on. Over the top, Rubble. There we go. Into Hornby. He's on the wing. I don't like him in the wing. Oh, headed away. Right there. If it was Rovers first, it'll be fine. Hornby threw balls it into Oscar Bob. Oscar, lovely work in the box. Dribbles round. Tap it. Oh, my God. How did the goalkeeper save that? Oh, just a simple tap in. And yet he could save near post. All right, I can't complain now. As corner comes in, I know what to do. I'll play it across. Trying to find the big Scottish guy. But he had players all around him. Head to down. Oscar Bob volleys at home. We've got fourth. What a way to respond from Torquay United. Lovely headed down and Oscar Bob sends it past where the keeper could not reach. It's force free now. Bloody hell, what a game. Ethan Abadou plays it across now. Another through ball. Now they're bringing their full backs up forwards now. Daniel Farker throwing everything to the wind. Oh no, he's gotten so easily in the box. One too many. One too many good passes. Shot comes in. Whew. Okay, okay, I'm not nervous. No, I'm not nervous at all. Oh, no, three balls it. One too many. Come on, there we go. Lucas tackles. Now, can we get a decisive final goal? 85th minute to get the win sealed. One too many through balls. There we go. As Tony lays across to the young man. Oh, Samuel knows would have been a legend for Torquay. If, if he would have put that on target, at least he would have been. Joe, oh, Leeds have got the last chance. And four minutes added on here. It could go down to the nit and gritty, the wire right here. Heavy touches through balls. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Good interception from David Hunt and another youth player to the rescue. Too many tackles, no. Cody gets tackled. You're not finishing your story here, mate. Liam Shaw clears it and full time goes with a great win, a 4 3 win over Leeds United. A fantastic performance, I think. That shows that we are real contenders for automatic promotion to the Premier League. But let's see how that is in January 1st. No, 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 no. We're not going to January 1st because I just now noticed we're in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. You know, remember what happened last time against Southampton? Yeah, we're back there again. Uh, not at Southampton this time. We've got Wolverhampton Wanderers and... 
This one's been buggering me a lot. I was thinking about playing it. You know what? I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it. It's just... This is like a disease for me, and I want to cure it right here. And I think Walls, the team we've got, we've got a good chance. Oh, my bloody God. <laughs> they've got Ivan. And you can see Walls have got some quality good players. Through balls right there to John. Tackled in. John, oh, for crying out loud, losing the ball so easy. Ivan in dangerous territory. Oh, you know how deadly he could be, and that was just inches away going in. You can see Walls on the attack again. Good tackle from Bobby Clark. Through balls into Lewis Morgan. Oh, come on, Hornby now. Trying to find the run edge. Through ball, it's one and one. Tony, good touch. Second touch, better. The shot and Lafont. How the hell did he save that? One and one, and Lafont, beautiful save. I can't lie. And you can see the Welshman through balls it to Han Wen Chan. Oh, I've got to pronounce that so bad. John. On the wing for him. Uh, could do a lot of work for him. Plays it across now. Too many good passing. Uh, I'm trying, literally, like headless chickens my defence are at the moment. John in the box. Could make it into Ivan. Tackle him. He's done my defence, but couldn't beat the Aussie with a great save. Come on, heavy touch. Glover's got it. Okay, just play it nice and easy for defence. There's a bit of a heavy touch from Lucas. And Bobby Clark now. And, oh my god, he's lost it. No, he's one on one. My goalkeeper's frozen with fear and he smashes it home. Oh, we were doing so well to keep Wolves at bay and yet you've done that, Bobby Clark. Uh, one nil, Wolves. Uh, it was a dreadful start. He's across to Clark. Lovely work from him. Can he redeem from his mistakes through board? It could not get a ball in. Now Wolves on the attack. I need a goal just before the halftime. Lovely attack from Lucas. Uh, come on. L lovely through ball. It's into Lewis Morgan. Could he make an effort? He has. A real method here at Clayne Moore. As we've got a goal. An equaliser just before the half. We are not dead and buried yet. Nathaniel Cedo now. I've got to butcher that so bad. But I'm trying to focus right here. Literally one too many good passing as... Good pass, 1-2. Lovely first time cross and headed at home beautifully. Oh, if only my defenders would have jumped like girls allowed to hold and two. It would have been helpful, but no. Nope. The Korean makes an impact in the second half. 2-1 Wolves. Leon to my centre-back is pushing forward into Randall. Lovely turn from Judas. Lovely bet through ball. Hornby got to go for it. Sure, it's good defending from Wolves. Lucas, come on, into Oscar Bob. Who can probably be a lot deadly now. Especially he's got stamina and the Wolves defenders are a bit tired. But my efforts on goal have been very lacklustre. Lovely turn from him. Can he find someone? Oh, couldn't. Got us a corner. Got to do something right here. I'm making subs. Liam Short's coming on. Uh, let's see if I can just get something in there. Liam, can he come off the bench and do something right here? Finds it in. Lafort went too far forwards. And it left the Highlander. Hornby. To header it in and playing more erupts as we've got ourselves another equaliser over Wolverhampton Wanderers. Through ball, good work. Right now into Leon. Through ball, oh, got a tackle from Declan Rice out of all players now. As no, no, they're going to go for a good interception. Good work from Leon's. Through balls into Liam Shaw. Could we get him napping? And we have. He couldn't score against Leeds. But Knowles has the chance to get us into the semi-finals and saved. How is it saved? Come on, we've got to go for a lovely pass. And Leon's my centre-back is pushing forwards now. And through balls into Knowles. Good run from him now. Can he find someone? He found... Oh, no, Lafont. No, Lafont. You can't do that to me. And yet, yeah, time is ticking right here. And there's only 10 seconds left on the clock. They're passing it back and it's going to go to the spot. The penalty spot to see if we can get into the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. Oh, uh, you know what? We did a lot better than we did against Southampton in, in our League One days. But to be honest with you, a lot of pressure is on us right here to get the semi-finals, get the job done. It's all going to be decided on the penalty spot. Crying out loud, it just had to be penalties. It just had to be bloody penalties. Oh, all right, we're going to skip this right here. We're going to go straight into it. Come on. All right, let's do it. And who's well, going to step up? Oscar Bob, Norwegian. Going to step up first. For the first penalty, sends Lafont the one way. Good start, good start. Now, on to the bench play. Brought him on. Yeah, send, sends um, the Aussie the wrong way as well. Can it be Hornby now's turn? To strike it past Lafon. And oh no, he saved. 
Lafont saves the Scottish striker. And yeah, the Aussie saves as well. We're still not dead yet. Everything could be determined here. Tony converts his penalty spot. Dramatic so far. Now the goal scorer, will he do straight down the middle? Son of a... I hate that. I freaking hate that. Randall now. Judas himself could get in the hearts of Torquay's faithfuls. He's converted his penalty. Now, come on. Uh, Declan Rice now. Rice, Rice, baby. No Rice today, the Aussie says, as he saves his penalty. And now, who's going to be up for the task? Liam Shaw to send Torquay United into the Carabao Cup semi-finals. Going to go left. Going to go left. He's hit the post. Oh, for Pete's sake. But he's, they've got to score this. They have got to score this. Come on. Neto sends him wrong way. It's all level. Going into sudden death. Samuel Nose has a real chance to really help us. And he hits the post. Oh, no. He's got to score. Come on, Aussie. I'll go to Australia itself. Oh, I was going to say I'll do a shoey with you. But no. It's not to be. We've lost in the Carabao Cup. I was going to say playoff. Carabao Cup semi quarterfinals. I don't care. We're out of the cup. Oh, maybe next year. Maybe next year for the girls. Now we're on January the 1st. And you can see from that table, it's close. We're first place. Yes, get in there. But also, we have got Hull City, Norwich City just behind our nets. We can feel their breath. As literally, they want to go automatic as well. So, how it'll end at the end of this season is up to anyone, to be honest with you. But I'll tell you this. The squad has been amazing. Don't get me wrong. Wolves was a hard game. But everything else has been perfect. The highlights have been 100% as goals galore. And so good. And the real question is, has Hornby stepped up in the shoes of Rodrigo? And my question is, who's Rodrigo? Yeah, that's how good he's been. But will it all be worth it in our second episode and be promoted to the Premier League? Stay tuned. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more Karimo content. And I'll see you beautiful people later.